Hi, I'm Coach K and welcome to Floorball. Over the next few months, you're going to be learning different skills in the game of floorball and how they transition onto the ice, making you a better hockey player. Before we get into that, let's go over some floorball basics. The floorball court is a similar shape to a hockey rink, but a little bit smaller. The proper floorball game includes knee-high boards that wrap around the entire rink. Before you hit the court, you got to gear up. Running shoes. Ideally, they're non-marking. Your gym teacher will like that. You're going to have to get some eyewear. Very stylish. Floorball stick and wiffle ball. Okay, there's lots of differences between floorball and hockey rules, so we're going to go over those next. Faceoffs are very similar to hockey, but instead of dropping the puck, both players start with their stick on either side of the ball and wait for the whistle. Faceoffs are only done after a goal is scored and at the start of a period. There are some fouls in floorball that you need to be aware of to keep the game moving. Fouls include slashing a stick out of your opponent's hands. Or lifting the stick of an opponent to get the ball. If a goalie picks up the ball and throws it across the center line, the play will be blown dead and a free hit will be awarded to the other team. Three hits take place at the spot of the foul. A member of the opposing team will hold the ball under their foot until the whistle is blown. Then, that player has to move the ball either by passing it or running with it. Floorball, like hockey, has a goalie crease. Except in floorball, no one is permitted in the area other than the goaltender. To maximize net coverage, goalies have more protection than players and they stay on their knees and use the body and hands to stop the ball. And of course, there are penalties in floorball. Using your stick dangerously results in a two minute penalty, much like hockey. This includes slashing, high sticking, Body checking is also not allowed. Now that we've gone over the rules and you've got a good understanding of the game and we're ready to hit the court, just remember, be safe, listen to your coaches, and above all else, have fun.